I asked you guys to send me your dream loadouts for me to review, and you guys definitely responded. This is by far one of my most popular videos on my channel, and I don't think I have yet to do a part two. You know what, let me make sure really quick. Nope, yep, never done a part two, and that's honestly surprising, so today we're doing that for you guys. Now, I just want to say the diversity in these comments was actually very surprising, and there actually wasn't a lot of loadouts that had ultimatum in it, which was super surprising, so there won't be a lot of repeated loadouts today, which is pretty cool. Before I jump into the video, I just want to say, um, if you guys want me to do more of these types of videos, make sure to leave a like, and also maybe leave a comment saying, yeah, you want to see more of these types of videos, because I just feel like these videos in general are kind of like boring, but if you guys genuinely like them, I will keep doing them, of course, because I want to keep you guys entertained. Um, so yeah, that would greatly help me out. Okay, let's get into it. The first loadout here is from Grimms, and he wants me to use Viking, Blacklight Pistol, Leader's Butterfly, Poison Darts, Laser Carbine, and Christmas Ultimatum. So this uh, loadout seems like it's going to be pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Since you're using Christmas Ultimatum as your heavy weapon, you could theoretically go with a different sniper that uh, does or does uh, does have delay of some kind, some kind of input delay because uh, Christmas Ultimatum will de negate any delay that exists. Um, and I keep switching to the backup weapon, but the backup weapon does, of course, have fixed delays. So you can't really use the uh, Blacklight Pistol for 3 cat. However, Blacklight Pistol is an excellent uh, backup for spamming, which is super, super cool. Um, yeah, Blacklight Pistol is also one of my favorite weapons in the game. Uh, if I didn't have it, it would certainly be a dream weapon of mine. Be yeah, dude, it's so good. It does so much damage in a single shot. And look look how cool it looks. It's literally like a solar system in the backup weapon. And wow, it, it actually never two shots. It usually always three shots for me, which is pretty crazy. Um, sometimes even one shots like that. So yeah, for it to two shot or for it to three shot is kind of surprising. But let's do some more three cat gameplay here. I don't want to spend too long on a single loadout because we got a lot of loadouts to get through. I got like over 60 comments. And uh, of course, I won't be able to do everyone's loadout. I'm not going to do 60 loadouts in this video. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I want to I want to keep the short or time short on these loadouts. Um, I am very bad at English when I'm trying to play a game. Okay, do not judge me. If you judge me, I will make you unsubscribe with my brain. Okay, I can say that Leader's Butterfly is probably one of the coolest melees because of the animation it has, and so I'm assuming that you won that in the loadout because of the cool animation. So I'll be sure to show you the animation, just in case maybe you don't have it. And I know a lot of you guys actually have some of the weapons for your dream loadout, and that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think I've used literally every weapon in this loadout, so I guess let's move on to the next one and not waste too much time here. Next up is the loadout from Era, and we're going with um, Sleepnir. I still don't know how to say this primary weapon. Uh, Sparkling Horn, Jet Spear. I'm going with Vertical Grip Device because I think we have a couple other Nodic loadouts. And we have Mammoth and Earth Spike Spell. Let's give this thing a go. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that this is a loadout that might be pretty good in Team Strike, and I have not played Team Strike in forever, so this will be kind of interesting. Um, looks like I actually missed him there. Boom. Oh crap, I forgot there's delay. Oh, uh oh, please don't kill me. Okay, we're good. Um, I probably could have, like, worked around this loadout a little bit better, maybe, because, um, yeah, there is delay with this loadout, and this gameplay might be pretty trash, because it's Team Strike. I haven't played Team Strike in forever, bro. And I just realized I have two grapple weapons. What am I doing? You know what? I'm going to equip Nodic after this game because there's no reason I should have two uh, grapple weapons in the same loadout. I see you. Earth Spike Spell. Switch to this weapon. Oh, come on. That was my kill. That was my kill. There's no way that was his kill, bro. Let's just grapple around here. I think that maybe Jet Spear is probably not the best weapon to use in this map because uh, Vertical Grip dice Device is just better. Um, boom. Get one shot. I hope that those are friendly mines. I think they definitely are. <gasps> oh, I actually hit him. I hit him. Don't. Oh, my. I knew you were going to steal my kill. I knew you were going to steal my kill. <gasps> grapple. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're getting. We're going to poop on this team, dude. Okay, I'm just going to try these loadouts in deathmatch because, uh, yeah, if you do other game modes, gameplay gets a bit wonky, so we want some good gameplay. And this primary has fixed delay, dude, and that's so stupidly annoying because, man, if I want to, like, switch to someone to finish them off, I don't want fixed delay, bro. I don't want fixed delay. I want to just be able to switch right away. Please die. Please. Yeah, let's go. He actually died to me for once, dude. Usually they just die to someone else. Oh, gosh, you're right next to me. How come you didn't kill me? I actually hit him, too. Holy cow. Die. Can't switch to that weapon. Oh my gosh, this dude's annoying. What's he using? Oh, he's using the bloody axe thing. I think we are going to be using that later in this video, uh, bloody axe. So if you guys want to see gameplay of that, definitely stick around for that. And wow, the mammoth's fixed delay is actually kind of cool. Please die. 
One shot, maybe? No, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not doing too good with this loadout, bro. Boom. How did I miss? I always shoot to the right of the people, dude, I swear. Then I get a kill assist, because people are using OP weapons. Um, come on, can I one-shot someone? You? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Next up, we have the loadout from our alt, and looks like we got a fixed delay three cat loadout. We got three barrels, uh, cannon, sneaky pistol. Uh, they said earthworm grapple weapon or whatever, but I think that they meant additional biting limb. Uh, alien bouncer. Didn't give a sniper, so I'm going with fatal decorator and then demolition exoskeleton. So a rocket jump with demo exo, which is a pretty good, uh, rocket jump weapon to be honest. Boom. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did I miss that? So yeah, we just got a, uh, fixed delay loadout here, so this will be kind of interesting. Gosh, the fixed delay on the alien bouncer is absolutely miserable, though. Oh my- come on! <laughs> I am not gonna be used to this at all. This is gonna be so miserable. Die. Let's go. Switch to that. Okay. Switch- Where did he go? Where did he go? He's behind me. Okay. That- that actually just tripped me out. What the heck? Usually I'm ready for those, but not that time. Not that time for real. Oh gosh, I can't do this. I can't do this. Boom. Oh, it's so slow. Boom. 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 Okay, I know that these weapons, apart like apart from 3-cat, are good for spamming on their own. But spamming with 3-cat, uh, of course not. Boom. Come on. Let me finish you off, please. Let's go. Okay, anyone else? You're challenging me? Boom. How is that not my kill, dude? Are you kidding? I actually have no idea how good Alien Bouncer is on its own. However, looks like it doesn't actually one-shot Ricochet, which is kind of annoying. So, yeah, I, I don't think Alien Bouncer is a good uh, special weapon for spamming. Um... So yeah, that's uh, that's something you guys might want to know. Maybe it's maybe it won't be your dream uh, special weapon after this video. Die, let's go. Got that dude. Um, die. Okay, one shot headshot. What about to a bot? What about to a bot? I missed. Okay, now I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I called it. Sneaky pistol is by far one of the best uh, backup weapons in the game, so I can see why you'd want it. It does insane damage and has a pretty decent fire rate, so it's really good for spamming. Um, so yeah, definitely a good pick, except I can't hit a single shot. Why did that person shoot back at me, bro? Yeah, you dead. It's super easy to aim with this weapon. I just suck, uh, in general, so that's why I miss so many shots. Um, come on, die. Oh, come on, to me, to me, people. And then, uh, three barrel shotgun is also one of the best primaries in the game. It has an insane amount of damage per second, and, uh, really good for spamming. Um, it's probably, actually, I think I literally made it the best shotgun in the game in my top 10 shotguns video, so... Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, good loadout on its own, not for three cat. Um, oh, I forgot to use this uh, this melee weapon. This is a melee weapon. I'm pretty sure one shots. Um, yeah, as you can see, and then it also has grapple. The only downside is you have to charge to do damage or to grapple. Um, however, that's okay. It's a one shot, so that's pretty cool. Definitely a very overpowered melee weapon. Next up, we have a very generic three cat loadout from Labib. He wants me to use Viking TikTok pistol, Primal Cold. Necklace of the Ice King, Anti-Champion Rifle, and Event Horizon. And also, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. I probably did. So, I actually have yet to use uh, Event Horizon after the buff it had, and looks like we're in a bot lobby again, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm assuming there's, like, at least one real person in here, and looks like it might be the person using the Ice Giant Rifle. Yeah, so Event Horizon is probably really overpowered now. Um, it, it, yeah, it's really good for spamming because it has that plasma rocket thing. Um, and it's a one shot if you can direct shot, which is pretty cool. Um, especially against these bots. It might even like one shot with a lightning against bots. Um, so yeah, this is kind of unfortunate. I get a lot of bot gameplay, but there's nothing I can do about this. So we just kind of roll with it, you know, and we get kills. Let's try the three cat loadout, uh, three cat part of this loadout, I guess. Um, Viking, I don't know if I would keep Viking in this loadout personally because, um, you know, the sniper actually has input delay. So I'd rather just uh, ignore the primary weapon and switch directly from the backup weapon um, to the sniper weapon. Um, however, maybe, maybe you want to melee switch, you know? I can't melee switch because I'm bad at the game, um, but maybe that's what you want to do. So you go like, um, actually, what was I going to do? So like, shoot, melee switch, and oh, there's still a delay. I definitely switched to my melee weapon. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Um, maybe... He doesn't actually, like, want a 3-cat. Maybe he just wants to randomly switch between weapons. Wait a minute. Oh, no, okay. I was gonna say, Event Horizon doesn't have input delay. It does. Just making sure. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool loadout. Maybe I'll try to get a kill with a Primal Cold. Primal Cold's a pretty good melee for spamming. Um, I got that Super Punch. Did I just lose it? No. Um, I'm pretty sure the Super Punch will one-shot this foo. Yeah! I don't know if he was weak already. He probably was. That's okay. Um, Primal Cold, it's still a pretty decent melee weapon for spamming, so... Yeah, pretty cool loadout. I love Event Horizon. It's so cool. I like every weapon in that set, to be honest. And I think in this video, we have every weapon in that set. So 
let's move on to the next loadout. Next up, we have the loadout from that barrel racer, and he wants me to use a rare weapons loadout. Social Uzi, Flower Power, Evil Pig Hammer, Mystical Orimator. He said Future Rifle for the sniper category. However, Future Rifle is actually a primary weapon, so I don't really know what he meant by that. Um, I don't know, like, what's a rare sniper weapon that has, like, the future in it i don't even know i don't even know if that's a thing um so i don't know if i uh, maybe i'll probably just skip over um the sniper category because i really don't know what he's talking about and then of course in the heavy category we have tesla cannon which i'm pretty sure is actually kind of good so yeah social uzi um honestly <laughs> none of these weapons in this loadout are actually that good and he did kind of make that clear he doesn't want these weapons because they're good he wants them because they're rare However, I'm pretty sure like most of these weapons did just come back for the Christmas lottery um, in December. So if you guys didn't get these weapons, you definitely should have. In fact, actually, no, it came back in January. I'm pretty sure when Ultimatum came back, you know, come on, you can't kill me. You can't kill me that quick, dude. You you deserve to lose that 1v1. Oh my gosh. And you just run away instead of fight me like a man. Um, yeah, I'm going to get no kills with these weapons, most likely. So just kind of bear with me here. In fact, you know what? Let's go to flower power. Thing about flower power is look at how slow the... Yeah, look at how slow the freaking rocket is, dude. It's going to be so hard to get kills with flower power. I don't even know if the damage is, like, super bad. <laughs> it just, it's so slow. It's so slow. The travel time is so slow. You cannot predict where people are going. And I think that they even try to buff this weapon, but it's like, you can't buff the damage on this weapon enough. Its travel time is just too slow. It needs a rocket speed buff. Like, that's not going to hit anyone. I mean, maybe if I just spray and pray down this aisleway, I'll get a kill at some at some point. But I think, like, from what I saw earlier, this weapon was like a four-shot, too. I don't even know how good this weapon is. But yeah, I've had flower power forever. I don't know if this weapon has come back too much. Um, hopefully not, because I kind of want some weapons to be unique. Because there's, like, no unique weapons anymore. So that's super frustrating. Um, yeah, I don't know. Die. Okay. Um, die. Maybe. No, I'm not gonna get a kill with this weapon. Let's try Evil Pig Hammer. Can I get a kill with you, maybe? Maybe. Maybe to someone who doesn't have matching modules. Uh, you? Possibly. Possibly. Oh, I actually almost got him. And then I got a kill assist. Yay. Yay. And you have matching mod- Why do so many people have matching modules right now? Come on. No one ever uses energy modules. And when I want to use my freaking melee weapon, that is energy modules- Everyone has energy modules. Okay, here's what we do. You equip the uh, melee shield thing, and you get a kill. Let's go. Okay, next up is Mystical Ore Emitter. <laughs> There's no way I get a, a kill with this weapon. I'm pretty sure that the DPS on this thing is literally 100, um, which is not good. That means it takes two solids. Actually, it's going to take way more than two seconds with uh, all the mythical armors in this game. Yeah, no way I get a kill with Mystical Ore Emitter. But yeah, it's basically just like a flamethrower that has literally no range. Look at that thing. Am I going to kill you? Am I- <laughs> I still couldn't kill you, and I freaking was shooting you for like three seconds, dude. Whatever, okay, we're moving on to Tesla Cannon here, because I'm- I'm spending a lot of time on this loadout, and I'm pretty sure Tesla Cannon is actually pretty decent. Mine's actually at Mythical, so, uh, that's something you guys should probably know. Um, oh, I can't do damage to you, can I? Uh, one shot. <laughs> that actually worked! Wait, I don't even know how I just killed that person, but- Alright, I killed that dude, I think, with, uh, the rockets. Yeah, the area damage on this thing is massive. There's lots of, like, uh, AoE. And it's actually good. It gets kills. So, yeah. Next up, we have the loadout from Durgum. And this is a, kind of just another generic dual loadout kind of thing. Uh, we finally have Ultimatum. We got Laser Cycler, Thermal Ultra Scythe, Gift Stealer, One Shot, and then Mythical Deadly Beat. I'm pretty sure that he specifically requested the skin, which I actually don't have. However, I do have it at Mythical. All right, looks like we got some more uh, bots here. And let's hear, is One Shot actually going to One Shot today? Because we all know most of the time it doesn't. I don't actually have it at Mythical, so it usually doesn't One Shot. Oh my gosh, it's always to the right. The shot is literally always to the right. I freaking hate it so much. I don't know why. I don't know why it just is. Oh, there's going to be a huge delay there. Uh, probably should have calculated that. Um, I wish that there was like a mi middle weapon here that I could like switch to. I mean, that's probably supposed to be like some kind of melee switch maybe. Like that and then switch that, that, that. You're dead. No. Okay. Switch to that. Switch to that. Switch to that. Let's go. I got him. We're in first place. We got the classic dual scammer loadout here and we're going to rock it all the way over here. Boom. Oh, I hit him. You're dead. You're dead. Boom, I missed. Okay, that's fine. I'll finish him off with Deadly Beat, just like that. I'm gonna hit you. Please, get out from the pole. Oh, I missed. 
I got a huge delay. Ignore it. We're switching the ultimatum because that's what we do here at Min Gaming. We we just be toxic as as toxic as possible. Okay, let's uh let's try some dashing. I hope I'm not hitting my mic by the way because uh my setup is super weird so that way I can have my face cam and mic uh, in a comfortable spot. Boom, boom. Let's go. We're popping off right now. We're popping off. We might we might get a rage here. Except I think I'm being targeted. Ah, get out of here. No, let me move. Let me move. Why can't I move? I don't know. That's absolutely crazy. Um, die. No. Okay, I have to reload. I'm dead. I'm dead. No way I survived this. I just survived that. I have no idea how. I'm going to target this dude because he looks like he's bad. There we go. Can we get a Fury, which is 10 kills in a row? Can we get it? Ah! Come on. I got it. I got it. I got a Fury. Let's go. I got a Fury. Oh, my gosh. I, I can't. All my weapons have delay right now. Oh, my gosh. I started panicking there, dude. I can't believe I actually just got that. Okay. This loadout, very good, of course. Um, let's move on to a different one because... It's a generic loadout. All right, we, we want to see some different loadouts. Okay, next up is a very similar loadout. Um, we got Harsh Punisher, except this time we have Harsh Punisher, Nodic, Sparkling Horn, Bloody Terror Axe. Uh, yeah, so we switch out those four weapons. Um, so again, kind of a generic three cat loadout. Let's see how good it is. Of course, I am expecting this to be pretty good. I was not going for that guy, but I still killed him nonetheless. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. All right, that dude just uh, went to the sky and back or the moon and back, I, I think I meant to say die and i literally actually haven't used bloody terror axe on my main account i only use it on my pc account um and of course on my pc account i don't really have any good gear so it's kind of hard to like test it out properly uh get back here dude stop it you don't actually survive any longer when you do that okay look you still died you still died to me didn't help you you're not in first place stop using vertical grip device and deathmatch okay all right you sweat lord you sweat where what the Look, I can still one-tap you with ultimatum, okay? And oh, I just missed that guy. I gave that guy a haircut for, for real, for real. Why Why is my deadly beat, like, shooting really early? You came over here just to steal my kill. I hate that person. I, I genuinely hate you. Come here. Okay, fine. You can kill. Oh, I'm in second now. Oh, it's personal now. It's personal now. You made, You just made it personal. You made it absolutely personal. And you're, you just want to steal my kills. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I'm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's personal. It's personal, okay? It's absolutely personal. It's it's he's he's doing this on purpose. He knows he knows what he's doing. How does that feel? How does your nose feel after that, bro? How does your nose feel? Okay, uh, I want to actually try bloody terror axe here. Can I kill you with bloody terror? Oh my gosh, you stole my kill, you loser. Um, I'm assuming that this yeah this melee weapon, if I remember correctly, is really good. Yeah, yeah it definitely is. Uh, bloody terror axe is probably like the best melee in the game right now. Honestly, it's super super good. Uh, for getting kills at least um, I'd actually say melees are more of like a category you use to like benefit yourself rather than get kills However, bloody terror axe is probably the best melee for getting kills right now. Look at how insane it is It's so fast. It has a wide area of attack. It does insane damage um, Bloody terror axe. It's an insane melee uh, it, I'm pretty sure you guys can still get it right now So I actually do recommend you guys get this because it's a really good melee. I'm popping off with that thing, dude Holy cow, I did not know how good Bloody Terror Axe was, was. I'm actually glad I freaking grinded this lottery and got it because, yeah, it's a good melee. All right, guys, unfortunately, this is the last loadout I have time for. Um, I might do another one of these videos soon, maybe in the next week or two. We'll see. Um, however, this loadout is submitted by... I forgot. Submitted by Not Tan, and it's Heavy Elf Crossbow, Pulling Sucker Gun, Thermal Ultra Scythe, Supernova Generator, Sentence, and System Scorpion. Let's give this thing a go. So yeah, I actually haven't used a uh, Heavy Elf Crossbow after the buff, and I'm not gonna lie, this isn't really actually a 3-cat loadout, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is gonna work. Um, however, we do have Supernova Generator here, so I can do something like that. You know, we can play a bit more tactically with this loadout. And honestly, I might have fun with this loadout. Come on, get get sucked in. Mm. All right, uh, we, we have to try not to be sus here with Supernova Generator, okay? Otherwise, we're going to get demonetized by YouTube. But holy cow, dude, se the sentence uh, crosshairs are so satisfying uh, to, like, get kills with and stuff. Oh, wait, this doesn't have fixed delay? Oh, it doesn't. I thought it did. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this uh, heavy or the heavy elf crossbow is really good now from what i've been hearing um it got buffed recently so i think it might even be like a one shot now if i get lucky enough um we'll see uh it's probably gonna be like the new aphrodite crossbow and if you guys don't remember aphrodite crossbow was like one of the best snipers back in the day um and looks like uh this is definitely living up to the reputation it has right now this weapon's getting 
Wow, I think I just one shot that guy. Maybe, maybe he was weak already. Okay, this bot definitely hasn't taken damage. Oh, and I just missed. <laughs> I just missed my shots miserably. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's do some dashing here. Thermal Ultra Scythe is the best dash weapon in the game. There's no debating, like actually no debating it. Um, it, it has the best stats, the fastest charge time. It has the longest dash. Um, and so I mean that literally just like by definition makes it the best dash weapon in the game you literally can't debate that so i'm gonna grapple onto you and then we'll go over here and uh hit you with my thingy yes look at that okay this 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 primary weapon's insane dude honestly this loadout's really fun i'm glad that i tried it bro it's actually so fun to use hey guys unfortunately that's all i have time for today hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me reviewing your guys' dream loadouts if you did don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing so you guys don't miss another loadouts video when I decide to do it. And yeah, with all that uh, being said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace.